Hi, Matt from Music Radar here, and we are here in Anaheim, California for NAMM 2022. Almost all of the world's top gear brands are here, and they'll be showing off the latest and greatest in music tech as the weekend rolls on. Here's our roundup of the most exciting products we've discovered at this year's NAMM show. Without a doubt, the most exciting product we spotted at NAMM this year was the third wave from Groove Synthesis, an all-new wavetable synth from an all-new manufacturer headed up by established synth heads that have previously worked with Se Sequential and Oberheim. The third wave is a modern homage to classic wavetable synthesizers, inspired most obviously by the PPG wave, an 80s classic that shares the third wave's striking blue colour scheme. This 24-voice multi-timbral beast can faithfully recreate the PPG's unique sound while also being capable of producing a diverse palette of more contemporary tones. The legend has returned. Making its US debut at NAMM 2022, the OBX8 sounds as good as it looks, packing the classic Oberheim tone into a contemporary synth with a vintage pedigree. The OBX8 takes the best bits of the OBX, the OBXA, and the OB8, manufactured between 1979 and 1985, and packs them into a new 8-voice analog synth. The classic OB series sounds that synth fans know and love are all there, but they've been complemented by a ton of new sonic possibilities that bring the synth straight into the 21st century. Slimline Groovebox that they're calling the most flexible and inspirational ever created, Polyon's Play is one of the most instantly accessible bits of kit we had the opportunity to play with at NAMM. Offering a rapid workflow and intuitive grid-based sequencing, the Play is great for jamming out ideas, building patterns quickly and easily, and putting together engaging performances on the fly. Create Audio follow up the East Beast, which debuted at Superbooth, with the West Pest, unveiled at NAMM. Though this West Coast style synth impressed us on both a sonic and aesthetic level, we're mostly lured in by the price. $249 for a decent desktop analog semi-modular synthesizer is music to our ears. We can't wait to see what they find at the other points of the compass.
Synth newcomers Melbourne Instruments showed off their first product at NAMM this year, the Nina. This 12 voice analog polysynth is equipped with motorised knobs that twist automatically into place as presets are recalled and parameters change. We were told by the designers that they took inspiration from the Korg Prolog in building the Nina, which is equipped with both analog and digital oscillators, a four pole transistor ladder filter, digital effects, and plenty of modulation capabilities. Artifon's Orba 2 is a pocket-sized music maker for producers that like to get ideas down on the move. Packed with tons of preset sounds, it also has the ability to record, pitch and play any sound you please through the Orba app. In addition to the eight touch-sensitive pads, you're able to control and shape the Orba sounds through nine different gestures and movements, making it capable of highly expressive performances. Eventide turned the tables on conventional sequencing with the Misha, a Eurorack compatible sequencer that uses techniques inspired by serialist music and Euclidean geometry to generate unique and evolving melodic patterns across 100 different scales. In this video, the Eventide team are using the device's unique interval-based sequencing capabilities to produce ever-changing melodies using one of the Misha's built-in sounds.